one. Let's learn about how to use the Python functions called upper and lower. First of all, these functions only work if you've got a variable that is a string. This is a string because it's text, but this is not a string because it is a number, it is integer. So I will start with a variable. I've used x to, as the name of my variable and I've set it equal to Ranieri. And I could print that variable. Let's print x and see what is in it. I would expect when I press run that over here it will output Ranieri. Fairly straightforward. Sets a variable to be equal to Ranieri and then immediately prints it to the screen. Well, I could make a new variable. I could make a new variable. Let's call this one y. And I could give this a literal string. I could call this um, something else and print that. If I press run now, what would you expect to print? We would expect it just to print the value of this variable. It will set x to be equal to Ranieri, y to be equal to Mr, and then it will print the contents of the y variable. Hmm. Okay, good. But what if I want to convert this variable maybe to an uppercase version, all capitals? I could set y to be equal to x dot upper. Because this is a function, I put two brackets after it, and this will get x, which currently holds the value, hmm, what's inside x at the moment? Ranieri, that's right. And it will convert it to uppercase and store the answer. This is how we can store the answer for later. It will store the answer in a variable called y. If I run this now, what would we expect it to print? Ranieri, all in uppercase. You could also make a lowercase version. Maybe I'll call this one Z. And I'm intentionally picking kind of useless random names, X, Y, Z, just to show you that you are in control of picking the variable name. Python doesn't care what you call the variable. You can choose the name as long as you're consistent. So I'll make a new variable called Z. How do you think I might make a variable, a version of X, I should say, that is all in lowercase? If this is how I convert X to uppercase, how can I make a new variable that is the lowercase version? I could do X dot lower, and that will convert it to lowercase. Now, notice that I'm printing Y, which is this variable here. If I press run, it does the same thing. I could print Z. What would, we, what would we expect it to print if I press run right now? Ranieri, all in lowercase. So this is how you can make a new variable that is a uppercase version or a lowercase version. One last thing, although Python doesn't care what your variable names are, I do, and you should too. Give your variables a sensible name. For example, this is Ranieri, and Ranieri is a kind of, it's an example of a, a name. So let's call this name and adjust all the other X's that I see in the program. There we go, and now let's press run. Notice it does exactly the same thing, but it's easier to read and easier to write extra code and to figure out what's going wrong. It's the same for this name.upper I'm storing in a variable called y. Is that a good name for that variable? No, of course not. What might be a better name for that variable? Maybe, hmm, let's call it louder because it's shouting. And likewise, this one, the lowercase version, the one that looks like this, I'm storing, oh, it looks like this, I'm storing it in a variable called z. That's not a good name. What might be a good name for this variable? Maybe quieter. And I'll change that here too. So now, just to show the complete program, to list all of them, I'll print the name, and then I'll print the louder version, and then I will print the quieter version. And if I press run, hmm, what would we expect to see on the output? The original variable, which was name, and then the louder version of the variable, the uppercase version of the variable. The name of that variable is louder, and the value is this. And finally, it will print the lowercase version, the one that is all small letters. I hope this has been helpful and ask me questions if you need a hand.
Bye, everyone.